welcome back to Digital Rapscallions. I am your captain speaking, and I am currently starting Conquest of the Longbow, a game created by Sierra. Uh, it's a take on the Robin Hood storyline, and it's phenomenal. I love it. So we're going to get right into this. Um, we are currently in Robin's little cabin here, hanging out, chilling. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit. As I said, to get this thing going, just like I did in Quest for Glory. Uh, Alright, so let's grab our horn, and let's grab some money. Because money is always useful. I'll count the money as I empty the chest. There's something about silver in a purse that makes the day seem brighter. I like it. Ooh, money. Fuck, I already got 100 points. Alright, <laughs> we're in business already. Let's go outside. Ooh. Hey, people. Morning. We've all broken our fast, but maybe Tuck will share some of his fish with you. From the gaunt and starving look of our good friar, I fear you'll be left begging. I'll remember that jibe when it comes time to dole out the stew tonight. Mercy on me, Chuck, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. You know the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see there's no point hanging around here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. Oh, well. To you, little John, I thought I'd head to the Overlook and see if any one interest of interest comes along Watling Street. Tuck says our treasury could use a boosting. Is that true? Sorry to say it is, Robin. We're down to but a few hundred marks. Well, I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. I think I'm going to go hang out with Will Scarlet instead. Screw, screw little John. Do do. Off through the forest we go. Oh, and here we go. We're at the glade. Hello, a musterhood. A glorious day for the bow. I've set the garlands up for practice. Come and join us. This new lad here is Simon. He's yet to see a sample of your skills. Tell me what brings you to the forest, young Simon. I shot a rabbit and took it to my family for supper. I was going to make a pouch from the skin, but a forester saw, saw a drawing and saw the mark of an arrow in it. He wanted a bribe to pretend he hadn't noticed, but I was so angry I knocked him down. I was declared an outlaw the very same day, and my father bade me to come soon and serve you. To come to you and serve you. It was your father's idea? Nay, it was mine. I would have come at once, but I was afraid for my family. I wouldn't leave until my father ordered me to go. Will, are we... I, a couple of men, are keeping an eye on the lad's parents. Good. Then I make you welcome, Simon. If you can spear a rabbit with an arrow, you'll be a useful man indeed. I'll try, sir. Truly, I will. This little thing. Well, he's just a young little thing with barely a family. But I... Nay, I, I don't deserve... Come now, lad, you're a member of our band now. Take the money. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, give, giving to the poor. Yeah, that's what all Robin Hood's all about. Alright, let's take a shot at this archery thing. Alright. Gotta aim the arrow. Uh, check for the wind, thanks for the flag. Oh, no wind. Fire! A masterful shot, Robin. Nice. Let's nuck ourselves another arrow. And let's try again. Wind is fierce this way. Oh. oh not a bad shot. Not great either, but... Let's try again. Wind's blowing that way. Take that into account. Oh. Let's see if we can get the far one there. Oh, nice. Look at that. Right between the fucking eyes. Yeah. Alright, I got close enough on those ones. You see now the value of practice. I said that I do. Alright, dude's done. We have access to our world map, so I'm going to use my world map to go back to camp. You've wasted no time in devouring that fish, I see. I find a full belly greatly improves the magnitude of my prayers, and gives me one more thing to give thanks for. Okay. Let's go see the... Here we go. Ah, it's the good widow and her three fine sons, Hal, Hob, and Dickens. Mother, it's Robin Hood. Good day to you. Tis good to see you again. That Chuck sent you to bother about the wool. Nay, he said nothing about it. Good. I told him I would have it soon enough. 
We're going to town today, Master, if there's anything you need. I think not today, lads. But be careful if the Sheriff ever suspects you of helping the outlaws of Sherwood. Oh, he'll never catch us. We'll listen to... We'll listen around and hear all kinds of things. Dickon, you heed the man. He's wiser than you. Aw, oh, Mum. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll keep the whelp under control. Fear not, Dickon. If I ever need a spy, I, I'll think of you. Nice to know these people. Alright, now... Um... I need to find my way to the, uh, to the network. Do, do, do. This is one of those games where running is not really an option. I can't really just pick up and take off and run whenever I want. Do, do, do. Wandering through the forest. Gotta find the overlook. So you can see Watling Street. <laughs> ah, whoa, what do you know? Found it. Perfect. Here we are. Oh, let's see little John. Oh, think there he is. Perfect. Glad you've decided to come. I saw a sheriff's man heading up the road a while back. You might want to stay and watch the fellow and can return in case he's up to mischief. Thanks for the warning, John. Until later, then. He takes off, and now we play the waiting game. Since this is, we're playing the waiting game, this is a good time to save our game. So we're going to save our game. New save. And the description will be watching the road. Part 1. Okay. Alright, so we're watching over the world. There's no one on Watling Street now. So we've got to hang out here for a while, just chilling. Wait and see if someone comes along. Oh, there's a lady. Frightened peasant looks woman. She's being pursued by one of the sheriff's men. Oh, we need to intervene on this. Stand fast. All right, move aside, I say, in the name of the sheriff of Nottingham. Nay, please, I've done nothing wrong. Don't let him take me, please. Release the woman. She's my prisoner. Step aside, I say. Boom! Oh. Yeah! Oh, bless you, sir, to whom I owe my salvation. You've surely heard the name of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, then it's true what they say of you. I shall be forever grateful. Blow the horn. What shall we do with this worthless carrion? I care not to drag him away for the wolves and ravens. Bless you and all your men! I must go now! Off she goes. Does my heart to see the joy and gratitude written upon her face. <laughs> Such noble people! <laughs> it's beautiful! Each night after supper, as is our custom, we gather to speak of the day's events. Fill my mug again, Tuck. As you wish, but what ails you? I've never seen you so deep in your cups. Why, tis the ale that ails him, but ails well that ends well, and... Stop blithering, Alan. I too wonder what troubles you, Robin. A strange melancholy came upon me tonight, unbidden. Perhaps the enemy has cast... Perhaps an enemy has cast a spell on you. Shrive him, Tuck, quickly, in case he should die in his sleep. Fee, Will Scarlet, can't you rather find a way to cheer a man rather than frighten him? Dude, fuck, he's drinking like crazy. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. I know full well the nature of this melancholy, for we all feel it from time to time. Tis that we're outlaws, forced to live away from kith and kin, living as we can in the forest. Knowing death awaits in an arrow's flight, or worse yet, the rope's bite. Short life, but a merry one, that's the way of it. Aye, but don't you dream of living as free men, able to walk in town without fear, to love a woman knowing you could stay beyond morn? Aye, there's the nub of the matter. You need a good woman, Robin. I know this last with huge tracts of land. Alan, you said I could meet her. Then I drink to your good fortune much, as for me. 
I'm off to bed now. This is which way is it? <laughs> Good night, lads. I'll assist Master Hood to his bed and see you on the morrow. For shame, Robin. Already deep in drunken slumber. Well, it's not my job to play nursemaid. I've delivered you to bed, and that's the end of it. <laughs> I'm just thrown in bed. Meh. <laughs> We're done here. Cast drift of float floating a song, a song upon the wind. The wind rustles through the leaves, calling me onward into a heart of green. A woman as graceful as the willows which surrounds her swaying to the music in the wind. This music is very much reminiscent of the intro music. I suppose it doesn't surprise it though. She, like, disappeared. What the fuck? She's gone, but there's something here. A glittering green stone where she stood. The willows. I hear them whisper her name. Marion. Marion. Come back, Marion. Come back to me. How my head aches. By the blessed lady, I swear I'll never seek to drown my melancholy in a cup again. Ugh, my poor back. I must speak to little John about leaving me to lie on my quiver all night. That dream, that woman. And what? What is this? Clenched in my own hand. The emerald. Now I can see its shape. Half a heart. Maybe I still dream. Nay, not with this pounding head. I must be well and truly awake. Somehow I must find this Marion and learn the meaning of this emerald. Aye, and see if she is as beautiful as I dreamed. Oh, it's all about the ladies, isn't it? Alright, well... We're going to find out what happened in our next episode. Hey, thanks for watching Digital Rapscallions. Interested in other Let's Plays? Click the link below to check on our Quest for Glory 2 Let's Play. Or visit our channel to see what else we have to offer.